I've been getting such, such good Bye. information. Yeah. So we've got Bob Manikin, you did speak to? Yes. Yep. Uh, Laurie Smith? Uh, Laurie's next week. To come, okay, that's fine. We'll find him in a room. Uh, so who else have you spoken to? Rick Birch. I okay. spoke to Rick, Rick Birch yesterday. Ken Keith Wallen, who worked very closely with John. He was type of John's offsider, so to speak. He's, he's, um, he drove him around the sites. He worked very closely. And I've talked to Lindy um, Gottlieb. I haven't talked to um, John Underwood yet, but that's, I'm, I'm making contact with him at the moment. Well, good luck. Oh, good. I actually sent Ken... An email the other day, Ken Cato. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. So I've, um, yeah, so I've done that, yeah. He's a bit of a legend as well, Ken Cato. Oh, Ken's very oh. significant in Australian culture and in graphic design. It's really, he's the most significant figure. Um, in fact, behind me, um, which I'll refer to when I do my formal introduction, is the building where... Um, John spent quite a bit of his time at Expo 88, uh, just underneath the Black Hawk there, next to the green bit, the multi-storey building. And I'll follow that up further from um, Ken Wallen, was that they um, were, they had a design office um, uh, with Teeth Watkins area, in Teeth Watkins area. So I will follow that up and clarify that. Yeah, that's, that may well be uh, mm. cor correct um, as, uh, you know, I haven't gone down to that nitty-gritty level of, of managerial detail. No, the, no, it's their things that interest me because I can put him then into the structure of the whole thing and the management structure, etc. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Well, so let's... Now, let's... what do you want to talk about? What's your aim? Um, well, I'm just... Uh, doing a little bit of backfilling, um, mm -hmm. putting in several chapters of interest, I hope, into the uh, John Truscott playlist to fill in. It's yes. like dealing with a bit of a ghost. And so you're the yeah. first person that I've been able to deal with that can put some flesh on the bones of understanding of just, A, how lucky Expo was, um, and B, uh, the actual work ethic and workload that was brought to bear um, mm -hmm. so that I can then add that on to, you know, sort of Bob Minigan's incredible work ethic, uh, Salou's vision, uh, Rick Birch's, you know, as, astounding uh, yeah. list of contacts. And so that... That Bob said that John was the most brilliant person he ever worked with. And he had worked with Harry Seidler. So that's, you know, but he also pays a huge tribute to Rick Birch. But he's said John was brilliant. Absolutely. Yeah.